new foreign minister, Hassan Mahmoud, in coming on you in his old capacity, but um, whom I have the great honor of having an introductory call with today, so that we could talk about the future of U.S.-Bangladeshi relationships and how we work together on issues of mutual importance, areas uh, such as climate, expanding business opportunities, and the Rohingya. And so I look forward in the next uh, coming months to working closely to advance our mutual interests. Thank you. Foreign Minister Dr. Mahmoud, a very wide-ranging discussion. Uh, it's very good to welcome a foreign minister who knows Europe well. Of course, he has very strong connections to Belgium, which is the headquarters of the European Union. So he's studied there, he knows Europe well and how Europe functions. So we had a very wide-ranging discussion about how we take forward EU-Bangladesh relations. And there's a lot on our agenda, as you know. We are going to start negotiating a new partnership and cooperation agreement very soon, which is a very wide-ranging new generation agreement. We only have one other in South Asia, covering all different policy areas of, of collaboration. We also talked, of course, about the, the more broad global situation, so what's happening in the Middle East, uh, the, the Ukraine conflict, the Russian aggression in Ukraine, which is, a, of course, a, a huge priority for the European Union. And we talked about uh, the Rohingya crisis, so all of the areas where we have long-standing collaboration with Bangladesh and where, of course, collaboration will continue for many years to come. So it's a very fruitful first meeting and uh, a very dynamic discussion. And I look forward, uh, and we look forward in the European Union to taking forward EU-Bangladesh relations uh, with the Honourable Prime Minister. A partnership and cooperation agreement is a much more political in nature than the existing agreement we have with Bangladesh, which dates to 2001. And that's mainly premised on development cooperation. Of course, development cooperation is still a part of what we do here in Bangladesh. But as you know, we had our first political dialogue a year ago, and that covers international affairs as well. And it's important that we have that mature uh, discussion on re respective foreign policy, not just about what's important in our immediate bilateral relations, but what's happening in the wider world and how Bangladesh and the European Union can influence um, in things of shared priority. So, of course, that includes the Middle East and, and of course, it includes um, the Ukraine conflict. Didn't your discussion, the first opening discussion? <laughs> no, well, uh, because we, we've, we've made our statements and the election happened and we made our statements on that. This was very much a forward-looking discussion about how now we build the bricks of a, a modern relationship with Bangladesh. And, and that, that, of course, involves foreign policy issues, but we are, we'll be seeing, of course, in due course, other ministers in, in the areas where we directly engage with, with the government of Bangladesh. But this was a very good, wide-ranging of our election expert mission in, in town. As you know, they haven't left yet. They will be making a report that will be made public, um, thanks to the agreement of the, the government of Bangladesh. So um, it's not a question of that. It's a question, though, of <coughs> making sure that we um, put our relations on the right path for the years right. to come. Um, you know, is what we did with our, our last expert mission. It's supposed to be a to support engagement where it's wanted and where there's a partnership need. So, so that's what relationships are all about: working together on shared concerns. Well, we have many priorities, you know, and for us in, the, in the, these seven years period that we've set our priorities for our development engagement, but of course renewable energy, the Global Gateway flagship project, we discussed that with the Honourable Minister. You know that the Prime Minister, Honourable Prime Minister, was in Brussels in October. We now have to make that 400 million euro agreement into a reality on the ground. And Bangladesh is one of the few flagship countries for the Global Gateway around the world. And this is where we, we will um, make a test case of our cooperation through um, helping Bangladesh reach its goal of uh, generating um, energy from renewable sources. And I look forward to taking that forward. Of course, the Rohingya crisis, which we must never let become a forgotten crisis, is a huge shared priority, over one million refugees. And we all know the challenges that are happening also on the other side of the border in Myanmar now. We want to work closely with that as one of the key humanitarian donors. But many issues, from climate change to migration, we discuss migration issues, uh, legal pathways to Europe. There's a lot on the agenda and that reflects the maturity of our partnership.